I'm kind of feeling a little bit mm, nervous about it. Hey guys, so I feel like it's been quite a while since I've worked on a new to me puzzle brand. And I'm really excited about this one because not only is the image fantastic, but a lot of yous have actually recommended this brand to me. So the puzzle that we are going to be working on today is called Summer Amusement Park. It is 500 pieces and it is 20 by 20 inches when it's completed. And it is from the Good Puzzle Company by Gallison. And the artist is Michael Storings, who is an award-winning designer, illustrator, and creative director in New York City. And I guess the Gallison headquarters is based in New York as well. That's interesting. Now hit that like button if you're a fan of Gallison puzzles. And I know they have a few collections, so let me know down below which is your favorite collection. Anyways, as I said before, the image is absolutely fantastic. I mean, there's nothing I love more than amusement parks. And not only because of the fun rides, but of course, you know they have some great food. And we got a lot going on here. And uh, th this place is popping. There's tons of people here. And of course, there I am waving at you guys. Hello. Seems to be a costume parade going on as well. But anyways, as fun as this image looks, I'm going to be honest. Looking at it now, I'm kind of feeling a little bit mm, nervous about it. Because again, there's quite a lot going on here. I kind of feel like all this area with the roller coaster track and the Ferris wheel is going to be kind of tricky. I don't know why I feel like that. Also, the area with the people on the bottom. I, I don't know. There's a lot of colors. There's a lot of details going on here. I mean, maybe sorting won't be too difficult. I can probably do a tray for the sky, the rides, the food stalls, and the people. I don't know yet. But you know, we're never going to know what I think to this, you know, until I open this up and try it out. So you know what? Let me stop talking and let's get started. All right, let's open this one up. Now, this one wasn't actually tape when I bought it brand new, but thankfully everything seems to be in here. So here is the bag and it does come with quite a small reference image. It's basically you know, a little, quite a bit smaller than the size of the actual box. But I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, right? It does have the bottom of the actual image here, which is pretty useful because you have this border here on the box. So this one is gonna come quite in handy. So let's put that in there for now and let's take a look at our pieces here. Now this is an interesting bag here because it's not actually plastic, but it is made with cornstarch, which is a renewable plant material. And you can put this in the compost, which is pretty nice. That's very earth friendly. All right, let's open this up. All right, so this feels pretty nice here. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest here a second. The piece itself is very thin. And I kind of just accidentally, like, put a little too much pressure on this tab. And as you can see there, it kind of, like, kind of bent there. So our tabs are pretty elongated. They're, they stick out quite a bit. So you, you kind of have to be pretty careful. You got These are kind of delicate, in my opinion. I mean, they are a very big piece size, which is great because you can see a lot of the detail within the puzzle piece. And the box does give you the actual piece size on it as well, you know, so that's that's pretty useful in terms of figuring out if it's a set that would work best for you. Now, the print itself on the piece is very clear. Um, I'm trying to find something here with quite a lot of detail. Here we go. The colors themselves are pretty vibrant. The artwork is great though. I really do love the artwork. But again, I have to say my only complaint here with this puzzle set or this brand so far is, you know, how thin the pieces are. And it does seem quite delicate. And that's probably mainly because of the size of the piece. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what this fit is going to be like. So far, I'm kind of predicting that this hold isn't going to be fantastic. So glare does seem like it's quite an issue with this brand. It does have quite a glossy finish to it. So, you know, just be aware of that and be aware of where your lighting is exactly. Oh, I dropped the piece. But either way, I'm looking forward to putting this together. So you know what? Let's get sorting. Oh, 
So overall, I kept my trays pretty simple. I didn't go too crazy trying to like specifically look through each piece and micro sort it, if that makes any sense. But anyways, first tray is of course the edge pieces. Second tray, I figure I just pile up all the pieces that had any people in it, even like the little tiny people in the background as well. So that's the second one. This tray here, as you can see, is not many pieces, but it's anything that had to do with like the sandy areas and the water. In the next tray, I put in pieces that had any details pertaining to like the food stalls, the bumper cars, any of these areas here, as well as the buildings in the background. This tray, this one that I Feel like is going to be the most challenging one to kind of piece together and this may need resorting um, throughout the process anyways but these are all pretty much these areas in terms of like the roller coaster the ferris wheel and this particular ride as well i don't know what you call that one but that one as well so it's you know it's a lot of lines and whatnot but again i think this is going to be the most challenging one to piece together Next tray, it's very few pieces here, but I kind of just like didn't know what to put in this tray. So I just put anything that was like very clear in detail. In other words, like see the sky pieces here with like any wording like that, like for the summer fun and for obviously the roller coaster and Ferris wheel, but those are there. And then the last tray that I prepped were any pieces that were basically just the sky. And some of the pieces have like bits of the hot air balloons and anything else up there as well. So yeah, pretty simple. Oh, wait, that doesn't belong there. I didn't drive myself too crazy trying to separate every single little detail, but hopefully this works out and helps me get a good head start on it. So let's continue. And quite surprisingly, I only came across one badly damaged piece during the sorting, so that was good. Well, that wasn't too bad. Missing two edge pieces here. They're gonna be somewhere in my trays here. So I'm not too worried about that, but so far so good. That was pretty easy. So let's continue. <laughs> pretty good so far. I kind of have most of the people pieced together now and for the most part it's been fairly easy which is nice. I must say though I keep having to rub my hand against the top of it just to kind of get it to flatten out a little bit because I'm noticing some sections when you complete they're kind of like bend up or lift from the table. Not a big deal really but you know just just something for you to note if you pick up one of these sets. All right let's continue. And what was a little strange was that I kept coming across this lifting situation. Well, pretty much for the rest of the completion process. And I'm not really sure what the main reason is behind why this kind of slight nuisance can occur in certain puzzles. Now, the deal with Good Puzzle Co. is that the pieces are made from 90% recycled paper. Even the packaging is 70% recycled paper. And 1% of the proceeds from buying these sets go towards environmental nonprofit. So it's all for a great cause. But honestly, to me, the overall quality is not great. And well, maybe that's because it's made from recycled paper. The piece size is great because you can see a lot of detail within these pieces. But they're also on the thinner side and they're not strong enough. As you saw earlier, some of the tabs were quite delicate so just be sure to go easy on these pieces when you're working with it. And from what I've looked up so far, the Good Puzzle series is the more affordable collection by Gallison. So I guess you can't expect too much, right? Uh, yeah, this continues to be quite an easy puzzle. So what we have left is the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel, which I figured was going to be probably the hardest thing to do, hence why I've left it last, and then fill in the rest of it with the sky pieces. So this is what we have left. Um, let's keep going. Okay, so for the last tray that had like a whole bunch of pieces in it, I figured the best thing that I could probably do was to resort it. So what I did was, I separated the pieces into about, I would say three piles here. This is a very small one on the side. 
but I basically took all the pieces that I knew belonged to that strange right up there, whatever that is, parachute, something like that. This tree I took mainly what had a lot of the brown pieces that had basically anything to do with the roller coaster. And then in this tray, I basically took all the pieces that were for the Ferris wheel. And it was pretty straightforward, it was easy. But what I did find quite difficult was trying to sort with one hand and eating popcorn with the other. That was kind of hard, especially with my bad finger here. But anyways, I'm hungry. I came home from work, I'm tired, and I wanna get this puzzle finished. So let's finish this up. Then after that resort, I decided to sort them by shape because, for one, there were only two different piece shapes in this set aside from the edge pieces. And secondly, well, everything was starting to look fuzzy to me because of all the similar details within the print. And again, I was tired. So it helped to just have them all laid out and organized. And you guys probably think sorting is like my most favorite thing to do. I promise you it's not. And I do get some comments about this, and I know sorting is not for everyone, and that's okay. But for me, I realized over time that I'd much rather sift through and organize my pieces instead of staring at a big pile and then end up taking a long hiatus because I'm too overwhelmed. But again, that's just me. You are more than free to use my sorting methods or just feel like this is a big waste of time. In the end, just do what makes you happy and do what works best for you during your puzzle time. But anyways, let's talk about some good things. Again, I liked the bigger piece size. The image print was clear, the colors were vibrant and very true to what you see on the box and the reference poster. The overall fit was okay. Yeah, it seemed to want to levitate off the table, but what I really liked was that the completed sections would hold on together pretty well, which I kind of feel made up for the lifting issue. And they are sustainably made. It's all for a good cause, which is kind of nice. And just so you know, before I filmed this voiceover, I actually did the pickup test with it. And what do you know, it passed the test. I was even able to take it apart in sections afterwards and save it in the box. Yeah, several pieces fell right off, but of course it did. You're really not meant to do this with completed puzzles, especially without any tape or something. Honestly, I would have just crumbled it all up. But I just had to see if it would work for this particular collection, and it did. So that's cool. But does this mean I would buy another set from this collection? Honestly, uh, probably not. Again, I wasn't too crazy about the quality, and I feel like I can get something better for about the same amount of money that this one cost me. Kind of like a buffalo set or something. The image would really have to take my breath away. And unless that happens, I will most likely not pick up another set from the Good Puzzle Collection. But that doesn't mean that I'm giving up on Gallison. This puzzle took me about three hours to complete. And most importantly, it was a fun image to put together. Now this image was very easy to put together. Honestly, I kind of wish it lasted a little bit longer, but you know, it is what it is. And another thought I had when completing this particular image was that it was absolutely perfect to kind of end the summer. And with summer nearly at its end now, it's getting me really excited for fall puzzles and the fall season in general. I love the fall. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to trying a true Gallison set and seeing how the two compare to each other. But let me know down below, what have your experiences been like with Gallison puzzles and any puzzles from any of their collections? But anyways. In case you haven't already heard, I've started a puzzling community on Discord, so if you'd like to make some new puzzle friends, be sure to click the link down in the description box. And if you'd like to hear more about my experiences trying out different puzzle brands, be sure to subscribe. Well guys, as always, thank you all for your support. Hope all is well, and I'll see you in the next one.